So I'm going to go through the final leg of the stool, if you will, the provider administration system. And before I get into what that is specifically, let me just set the foundation. Today already, Oracle and our cloud applications provide a complete suite of applications to some of the most complicated industries anywhere in the world, starting with finance, supply chain and manufacturing, human resources, and our customer experience applications. And in fact, we have dozens of successful cloud customers in healthcare today, from providers to payers to healthcare who are in academic uh, centers, like the Cleveland Clinic, Mount Sinai, Mayo Clinic, who are already using our finance and supply chain automation uh, applications today in the cloud to, to automate their processes. With the provider administration system, we're really gonna extend and expand that inclusive of Cerner and the health provider systems to stir up some of the issues that we see today. And that provider administration system will be again end-to-end -end complete process automation from reimbursement, pre-authorization and billing onto an e-commerce catalog system to have an easy to understand supply chain system, supply chain planning, on through to managing the workforce, from complex workforce requirements, to contractors, doctors, nurses, everything from scheduling on through to payroll. And then finally, for the financial accounting and the regulatory requirements that all of our customers, hospitals, payers, providers, all have. So how are we gonna do it, and why are we gonna do it, and what is the goal? And the goal is really quite simple. We want to help improve outcomes. And we want to help improve outcomes by allowing physicians and nurses and healthcare professionals focus on the patient and not on administrative systems. They shouldn't be worried about how you order supplies. They shouldn't be worried about the inventory supplies. They shouldn't be worried about their scheduling. You as the patient shouldn't be worried about having the right person at the right time for your appointment or having the right equipment for the procedure, or the right drugs for what you need for service. So really tying that all in, taking care of the administration behind the scenes so that those healthcare professionals and experts can focus on you, the patient, not administrative data entry. And we're gonna jump in today just to give you two examples of what we mean by this. The first is managing the workforce management. And quite simply, the problem is pretty simple today. There's a fundamental disconnect between the systems that track what gets done at a hospital, surgeries, appointments with patients, different, uh, different things that doctors and nurses do, and the HR system. The HR system that tracks absences, people's vacation, people's time and entry. And that disconnect is what Oracle and Cerner together bring to solve this problem. So we'll expand our HCM system to take inputs from Cerner and other hospital systems to better track what's actually going on at the hospital and tie that with the HR record. Attendance records, vacation plans, skill set, training capabilities, and the complex scheduling that goes around it so that you as the patient can be assured that the person's available at the right time when you need it. And for the healthcare provider, we eliminate the burdensome on their side of recording their hours or reconciling their pay, but again, by tying what the actual work done to the HR administrative systems to better ensure that they're tracked accurately, they're paid accurately, again, so they can focus their time on you, the patient. And we do this by expanding to a healthcare-specific set of rules in our existing, highly scalable, HR system by adding scheduling capability, time and attendance capability, leave management, and a set of analytics specific to hospitals, hospital workers, and healthcare. And by doing so, we really close the loop. Now, instead of having separate systems where you have the plan of what's actually happening in the hospital and then the administration trying to track and compensate and report on what happened in the hospital, but tie those together as one system. And then when you have that one system, it better allows you to do planning so that you can better allocate 
those highly specialized, highly skilled individuals in the hospital where they're best utilized. And instead of this problem of fragmented systems, you create a virtuous circle and a complete from the plan to the actuals to the exceptions, again, by eliminating and automating the medical professionals from entering data and doing the administration. The second example is remarkably similar, and it's on the supply chain and the supply chain and the procurement process. Once again, at the root of the problem today, you have the actual systems, like Cerner, which track what happens in the hospital, which equipments are necessary for certain procedures, which drugs or pharmaceuticals are necessary for certain procedures, and how much gets used during that treatment of a patient at a hospital. Separate today, you have an inventory management system, which is, again, oftentimes manual, without the benefit of RFID and RFID tracking. So again, today, much time is spent, or wasted really, on hospital professionals who are trained to take care of patients, but instead looking after and recording what uh, of their equipment was used, where the equipment is stored, when they have to refurbish, and going through the order management process to refill that to assure good service for you, the patient. But while you have doctors and nurses doing that, that's time away that they're not spending with patients. And again, our solution is taking the supply chain applications which we have deployed to hundreds of customers around the world and enhancing those in the areas of procurement, e-commerce, planning, and logistics with capabilities very specific for hospitals and with integrations to Cerner and hospital systems record that are out and available. And by closing the loop, very analogous to the HCM system, again, you turn from a highly manual system, which is wasteful and costly, into a highly automated system, which again, starts to build on itself into a virtuous cycle. Because the better job you do of automating and tracking, the better job you can do of supply chain planning and predicting, and predicting fulfillment, and you do that and you get better and better at lower cost. And to do so, we feel it's also critically important that we provide a best-in-class user interface, but probably most importantly, a user interface that is very familiar to everybody. So that if you're a doctor or a nurse, you should be specially trained in your area of expertise. But when you need to do procurement on your job at the hospital, it should just be like you're buying that sweater that got recommended. And so we've built an e-commerce-like system with a beautiful and intuitive UI, but that's very familiar, allowing you to create shopping lists, allowing you to have quick access to those shopping lists, to have a personal catalog, and to have several personal catalogs should you have different roles within the hospital. Just as in your e-commerce site, you probably have shopping lists and saved uh, sort lists for you in e-commerce sites that you're familiar with. Bringing that exact same user interface, but with specialty rules which govern what happens in the medical workplace and in hospitals and providers. And by really combining all of those areas and having the end-to-end -end provider administration system, we can save costs, but most importantly, allow doctors, nurses to focus on patients.